Hi, Angela Russell here from thecouponproject.com. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I put together a coupon shopping trip, and today I'm going to go to Rite Aid. The reason is, uh, last week I earned a $10 up reward, and in case you don't know what up rewards are, they're triggered by your purchases. If you look in the ad, a lot of times they'll say you can earn a $10 up reward or a $5 up reward, whatever, uh, based on certain purchases that you make. In this instance, I earned a $10 up reward from buying CoverGirl Cosmetics, and it put right at the bottom of my receipt there. So knowing that, and knowing that it has a short expiration date, I'm going to hightail it in there today and see what I can do. So I looked at the ad and then I also looked at my site, thecouponproject.com, because each Saturday I do uh, Rite Aid deals where I pull off the best uh, deals that I can find in the ad and then um, pair those to coupons. So I found a couple things that stood out to me. John Frieda Shampoo, which is a shampoo that I really love and it can be really expensive. Well, it's on sale and it will generate an up reward and there were high value coupons from last week's paper. So I'm going to take those with me. Also, Extra Gum. They, Extra has this new dessert gum that's really quite tasty, and it's on sale. I have coupons, and it will generate up rewards. There are also a number of cold remedies this week that are free after up reward. Now, I'm not quite sure. It's Tuesday, so I'm not exactly sure what the stock is going to look like at my store, so I'm just going to bring this with me. I'm also going to bring my calculator and a little bit of flexibility to see what I can do. Lastly, if I have any of my up reward left, I notice that they have four packs of bathroom tissue for a dollar each. So this can be a really great way to leverage those up rewards too. Uh, finding great sales to stock up on things that you don't normally want to spend money for out of pocket. So I'm going to take that with me, my plan, and again a little bit of flexibility, and I will meet you back here and show you what I did. Okay, so I'm back. So I just want to quickly show you what I got. I had a really great trip. So I was able to find the John Frieda. So they were $5 each and I had two $2 off coupons, one for each. So it was $2 off one item, so two coupons each, or a coupon each. So that I ended up paying $6 out of pocket for those. And then I had, the gum was on sale, um, three for $3. And when you bought three, it was going to give me one of those dollar up rewards. Now it said that there was a limit of two up rewards. And since I had three $1 off two coupons, I did the deal twice. So I ended up getting six. And I'll show you the upper, what happened with Upper Wards in just a minute. Uh, this week on sale was the hand sanitizer. You pay a dollar and it generates a dollar Upper Ward. And then some toilet paper just because we needed it and it was a dollar. So after my coupon, so I had three $1 off two coupons. So I have six items, right? So $3 off two for the gum and two $2 off each for the shampoo. And then I had, remember that $10 up reward? I got to use that $10 up reward that I generated last week on my entire purchase. So after coupons and that, I only paid $2.14 for everything here. And $1.14 of that was tax. So that's that's just awesome. That's that's how I, why I love these ups. But here's why, here's where it gets even better. My trip right here generated more up rewards. So I have one, two, three three and a five dollar for the shampoo so after upper word it's like i got these for 50 cents each so i actually just got back eight dollars that i can then use on a trip next week so i hope this sort of makes sense um when we're talking about shopping with coupons at drugstores when you get rewards like these you just kind of keep rolling them and over time your out of pocket will be low like like in this case I only paid 214 today I got items and I and I got money back to use next week so I know that was just a really quick example but I hope that it was helpful to show how coupons can really help you save money on things that you need and sometimes things like you like like this very interesting strawberry shortcake um, gum that I got this week right so I hope that you'll join me next week. I'm just trying to do these little video shorts every Wednesday through October. So join me next week. And in the meantime, visit my site, thecouponproject.com, for more tips on how to get started couponing and how to find deals just like these.